Hi everyone, I'm Jerry and I was just sent another great product from this company called AnyKit. This is a 16 and a half foot semi-rigid endoscope that can basically go back through walls. It can go down to for a mechanical toolkit to be able to view things down inside of a car engine. Uh, it is IP67 waterproof so you can use it in like your sink or possibly a toilet to kind of sewer drainage, check things out. And it all hooks conveniently to your camera via an app which is called Xscope. So I've downloaded that app on my, on my phone right here, and I'm gonna show you what's in the box. We're gonna hook it up and do a few demonstrations for you to kind of see the quality of this one megapixel device. Inside here, it does have little additional uh, pieces that you can add onto the end of this, little metal hooks and different things like that that you can add along with a mirror that allow you to see back a different direction, so forth on there. Uh, the real meat and potatoes of this thing, though, is a semi-rigid piece here that, again, has this flexible end that you will connect on to your phone. Now, mine uses this, uh, this type of adapter here for my iPhone 14 Pro. If you had a newer model iPhone, uh, you also have the ability to remove this, and it also has uh, this USB-C, which can then plug into a lot of other various devices as well. But that little extra adapter is certainly a nice thing to have on there. You've got your 16 and a half foot. Again, this is a semi-rigid, so what that means is you can flex it and bend it, and it will stay primarily in the direction that you put it. And to show you also these little end pieces, they can unscrew this end piece off of here. And then we can put on a different tip on the end of this if you wanted to have a mirror or possibly a hook on this to be able to grab, I don't know, something that fell or a hairball out of a sink or a clog or whatever the case that screws on there to allow you to, to grab that out of there as well. So I'll kind of show you how this works. I'm going to go ahead and insert this in here. This immediately comes on. You've got a light that comes on the end of this thing. It's going to detect the device. And now we have the 1080p uh, video that it can record, or again, a one megapixel picture camera. Now using this thing here, you have a couple of options on your actual device here. One, you can rotate the screen so that you can look at it uh, in, in landscape mode versus portrait mode. You do have the ability to change it to a black and white setting. Uh, or to have it in color. And if you're taking pictures, you also have the ability to do a side-by-side -side where you can take a picture and like a photo here and then be able to compare it to, say, another photo in the room and take a picture and it'll allow you to compare those, which is a neat feature to have. Let's go ahead and go try this out uh, in a setting. So one of the things you can do is like to use it to check out a dryer vent. So I can go in here and look at my dryer vent to see as you're looking on the picture there whether there needs to be anything cleaned out in my dryer vent clearly. Uh, obviously, we've got some buildup that I was unaware of clear back in there. Now, on this thing uh, that attaches to your phone, there is a little piece here that will allow you to adjust the brightness level. Uh, it's right here on this part of the device here that will allow you to adjust the brightness so that you can actually turn up or down the brightness to help you see clearly as far as to what is in there, which is great. And again, you do have the ability to go ahead and switch it over to black and white if, if the needs should allow for that. Another great thing, since this is IP67 waterproof, is you can use it to check out sinks, like we've got down here. And if you think you've got a clog somewhere, we can go ahead and feed this all the way down in here and get it down into there where there is a clog and see clearly where that is. As you can see, it looks pretty disgusting. So now you can actually go down and find a clog that's actually underwater now we can adjust the brightness and clarity level of this and we turn this rigid snake part around here. So it'll allow you to actually see underwater where there might be a clog. And then again, if you needed to take a video or a picture, you can click video, go ahead and record the video and you'll see that it's recording so that you can have something to show a plumber, do a little diagnostic work uh, before they get there. Whenever you're done uh, using your tool before or after, it's always good to use a nice cloth to wipe it off. Uh, you can use water or an alcohol prep pad, but no stronger solvent should be used on this product or you could damage it.